What's up everyone, Dr. Jacob Wilson here. Today, we're gonna to be discussing how do I actually know how aerobically fit I am and what does that mean? So before you actually, uh, before we get into this video, listen, if you love this content, make sure you hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. Um, that's the best way that you can actually give back and support this channel. We talked about the importance of aerobic conditioning. Why? Well, remember from our previous videos, so many bodybuilders are dying. Again, we talked about this earlier, but there's a recent video, 35 bodybuilders that are, were really well known and pros died in 2021. That was what the video was called, 35 pro bodybuilders that died in 2021, right? Sean Flexitron Rodin, who was Mr. Olympia, Cedric McMillan, a good friend of mine, John Meadows. This is sad and most of them are dying of things like heart failure or ruptured blood vessels. Very sad, we wanna avoid this. Um, I talked about another study where people actually had a 44% reduced chance of dying from middle age over 18 years past that when they focus on aerobic fitness. Guys, I want you to be aerobically fit. And for those of you who are like, I don't care about aerobic fitness for living longer. Guys, you really should, one. But even if you don't, aerobic fitness is gonna make you train with higher volumes in the gym, have more vascularity, recover faster, and be more energetic. We define aerobic fitness by a concept called VO2 max. Anyone heard of VO2 max before? VO2 max is defined as the maximal amount of oxygen that you can take and utilize in your muscles or at the cellular level during maximal exercise, okay? So basically it's how much oxygen I can take in and use during exercise maximally. If we look at levels of VO2 max are measured on milliliters per kilogram of body weight. But to make that kind of simple, I'm gonna give you a range, okay? People who are sedentary, that means they don't move, they're completely couch potatoes. They're, if they're young in their 20s and 30s, they might be 30 to 35 on VO2 max. Now, if you're average and you kind of lift weights and you kind of have, you, your VO2 max is gonna be higher than that, average is around 40 to 45 maybe. That is average and it basically means that like if you're doing upper body workouts, you're not really sucking wind. If you're doing lower body workouts at 40 to 45, you're sucking wind. You're, you're, you're like, man, I gotta sit down and rest between these leg days. Or I'm doing, if you try and do higher up squats, your lungs give out before your legs do. People who are a little above 45 to 49, that's, I would say, very good. And most of those people, you aren't really sucking wind on, on normal leg workouts. You're pretty damn good. Maybe you're sucking wind a little bit, but you can recover fast. Anyone above a 50, I would say for bodybuilding is excellent. You're gonna live long, you'll have more vascularity, more conditioning, and your training volume could be double the guy who's uh, in at 40s, okay? So now, how do we calculate that? We calculate it by a simple equation. What you do is you cut first get your uh, age predicted max heart rate. That's very simple. Age predicted max heart rate is gonna be 220 minus your age. So if someone is 40 years old, 220 minus 40 is what? 180. So how do you use that number to calculate VO2 max? What you do is we're gonna take brackets, okay? You're gonna take max heart rate divided by resting heart rate. So what is that? If, if this guy is, has 180 max heart rate and they have a resting heart rate of 60, you take 180 divided by 60 and that's three. You then multiply that by 15 and he has a VO2 max of 45. That's a predicted VO2 max of 45, which makes him close to very good. Good to very good, okay? So again, you take max heart rate, that's 220 minus age. You divide that by resting heart rate, which you should be able to get on your watch or by um, uh, measuring it, very simple to get. So you take 180 divided by 60, that's three, multiply that times 15, he's a 45. So that put him at good, okay? So you can track how your conditioning is going by how low your resting heart rate becomes. If that same guy had a resting heart rate of 50, that would put them probably around 52, 53 on VO2 max, okay? Which means that that person would be excellent. So again, to summarize this up, VO2 max, maximum amount of oxygen you can use while you're training. If you're sedentary, you're sucking wind for everything and you're in the 30s. If you just lift weights, you're probably gonna be around 40 to 43, but you're sucking wind on leg workouts. If you're 45 to 49, in good condition. You're breathing during leg workouts, but you're not 
completely taxed. Anything above 50, you are amazing. You're getting double the volume of everyone else. You can calculate that by dividing your age predicted max heart rate by your resting heart rate and multiply it times 15. There you go, guys. Make sure you look at this and track this number and try and improve it, improve it so you can live longer and train better in the gym. Talk to you next time.